word art mean to you? Wow. That's a very hard question. Um, for me, art is like my therapy. Every negative experience that I've had in my life, I turn it into something. Whether it's a painting or whatever it is, I have to take that energy and turn it into something. Because that's the only way that I can physically let it go. And that's where all my work comes from, is all the bad things that's happened to me. Every falling out with a friend, every ex-boyfriend, everyone who's ever screwed you over, insulted you, right into my artwork. I mean, nothing comes from when you're happy. You're not really that creative when you're happy because you have everything. What do you need when you're happy? You need nothing. For my practice book, I was kind of going off an old series that I did about like hard things that other people have been through but I was putting it what I've been through so my main focus was my anxiety in a way so at first I went to doing portraits because that's what I was good at I love doing portraits I love drawing people and I kind of relied back on that it went really well it was a successful book a successful series but I um, ended up going completely away from that because it's, I already know how to do that. So I took that book and then turned it into something else more abstract. I went into my other book, which is all hands. I took out completely myself and just put pure hands in it and mark making to show anxiety. Like the marks symbolize what you do when you're anxious with your hands. Like when you're nervous, you tap on surfaces, you pick at your nails, you, you know, everyone does something different. But a lot of people like fuss with their hands a lot. So that was kind of my idea. And also, it was kind of like reaching out for help. Because sometimes, whether people say it or not, they need help. And I feel like, you know, everyone's trying to get it, but not everyone can find it. After those two pieces, I really wanted to make some sort of third piece. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. Like, I would just be up all night thinking like, oh, this is a good idea, this is a good idea. Oh, I can do this, let me do that. And I would just like have a book like full of like ideas. Like, maybe I should do this next, maybe I should do that next. Like, oh, I really want to film this. Like, how am I going to execute this? So then I decided that I wanted to do feelings of being trapped whether it's being trapped in a state of mind or a relationship or whatever have you. And I thought, okay, how can I execute this? Like, what do I feel when I feel trapped? And I thought, well, when you're trapped, you feel very restricted, you can't get out. And like, I really want to symbolize a sense of hope in a weird way. Like, I want to show people that they can get out of it because I think when you're at that really low point, like you think like there's no way out like I'm stuck in this hole in this situation and I'm gonna be here forever like I don't know how to get out and that's not true and you can get out so for my second I guess or third body of work I um, decided to have people restrict me in canvases as I fight my way out but while doing that my body would be painted but these pieces were strictly based off the paintings at the end of it and not so much the actions. Like I wanted the actions to be important, but it wasn't really about that. It was more about the final result. Whereas for my next body of work, the main focus was the video and documenting it. And I really want people to see what I'm putting myself through. And I want them to understand like what emotions are going into it. Cause I really want it to be like a relatable piece that like everyone can relate to.
just hope at the end of everything that I'm at least affecting one person in a positive way. I just want one person to get something out of it and be like, wow, like I understand like what she's going through because I'm going through that or I've been through that. And that's really like all that matters to me.